I was about to say, well, the case isn't going to solve itself. <laughs> See, but you, you, made, you said you were going to stay late, and guess what? Guys, I just want to fill you in. I need to check if she was a regular. Yeah. I'm going to fill you in a little inside. It's 4.41 a.m. right really now. I don't really think it was that. I wonder why the picture was turned down. It's probably irrelevant. Got to check that hairbrush, though. It's Cole Phelps' specialty. It's hairbrushes. All ladies did back in the 1940s was have matches and brush their hair. The temp give me anything to go on. Templeton something. I thought I saw something over here. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. We all saw that jewelry and we were all really worried. Guys, we we've lost our fun tone. Yeah, this this game is it's problem, guys. Like I said, it's not starting to lose. It, I'm not starting to lose trust, but I am starting to gain suspicion. She didn't have a bag with her. Remember that. So she went out without her handbag. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Whoa, calm down, dude. Oh, of the writing. Yeah. I thought you were saying that there's a bad lipstick choice. Oh, no. No, it was the writing part. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Cole, didn't you watch the uh, oh, cutscene about this one? She was pretty drunk at the time. It's a high tech something. Any bloody shirts in here by any chance? Please. It's going to be size 8. Yep. Let's see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. They were definitely boots. Yeah, they were boots. Lars was out in the rain last night. Or today. Okay, we, we already saw uh, the bag. Because they can't be framed this well. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. You know? Dude, I just don't... Good to me. I just don't even know. Every single one of them is, like, perfectly able to be framed. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Yep. Nope, that's not true. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Well, except for me. I love Teresa. But don't... She's don't, uh... She's alive. Don't take... Can't be anyone who knew her. So that's the truth. So you don't know anyone who would no, want her okay. dead? No, I don't. Man. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? Who would want to do right. that? Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. So when I call this Bobby Ross character and he tells me you're lying... Look, what do I have to do to convince you that I stayed at the party? Maybe not be a dirty liar. Uh, a wet jacket? That's what I was going to say. You're off the hook. I don't know. I think that might be it. If you have more questions, I'd rather get this over with now. I want to kind of wait for that. Uh... Can I... Wait for the callback? Yeah. Double time, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. <laughs> okay. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Turned over picture. Boy, that guy. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I noticed I one picture was turned. And you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? A uh, turned over picture. Tire tracks. <laughs> I'm just gonna strip doubt that personal. one. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Spill it, Terrell. Nailed it. We like the look Spill of it. This donked it. Donked it. <laughs> 1940s donked party. it. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Language. She wants to go what dancing and have fun. I can't believe how not fun she is anymore. 
About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. Cha-ching. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around I don't know, she was covered in blood and I just killed the her, but, oh, wait. Bobby's is wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and we're going to talk to that sitter, maybe. Yeah, we're going to talk to that sitter. It's pretty truthful. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. All right. Ooh. You said you went to a party not at doing Bobby Ross's place? Dude. That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. Right, I'm gonna doubt this guy. I got, I got no other me. evidence. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Yeah. Baron's Bar. So she is she a regular at that match too much, place. It's maudlin and calls me. I go and bring her home. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. Your wife's body. I her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to broads, be given into them your entire life. Don't feel bad about your wife being murdered. At least you maintained your masculinity. It's cool. I'm Rusty Galloway. Appreciate your time, sir. Rusty Galloway, professional policeman. I'm the police chauvinist. They hired me for these kind of things. What's that? Hobo camp. There's more Talden's residence. Well, I'm gonna go to the bar real quick. Once you received a phone call back from that about that guy. Dude, there's so much in this game. Like, just so much. Guys, because this isn't the last chapter of the game. No, there's apparently more stuff that occurs. Apparently, yeah, two more chapters. And uh, each chapter has been. Watch it, will you? They haven't been short. Long. Haven't been short. <laughs> Here's a bar on the left. Yeah, do you like that we're kind of partners here? We're solving crimes. Free, Dude, Free, yeah, absolutely. I'm I asking like the that. audience. I like it too, though. <laughs> they might like it, but I really like it. Was there some lady here who was killed? Remember that? Yeah, I was kind I of thinking that of too. I always think every place is a place that something's occurred at. When the hell is the food Gents? gonna arrive already? Drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. It's about Teresa. Clough is a terrible yes, last name, is. sir. Yeah. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again. It wasn't. It was me. Wait. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Last contact with Victor. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around 10:30, uh, I think. Why would you doubt that? Yeah, he looks like he's on the no up No reason up. to doubt it, right? On foot, in a car, by bus? How was Say it? Say bus. She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. Not much of a dance hall here, guys. I can't decide between Dancing the behind it. And the chicken. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Wait. So the uh, the letter from the last one we got from a cab. Would you recommend the special? Oh no! Stop. <laughs> oh come on. Who was she with? We've had reports about a oh, tall God, why is there hobo. Ever connections. Last night? <laughs> I get plenty of bums. No, the problem is that we're like so unbelievably paranoid now. Oh no! We're like, that guy was also wearing a button-down shirt. <laughs> The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. <sighs> that guy's wearing pants. <laughs> all right, two creeps were all over. Her. That guy says he's innocent too. Me. They're all Take guilty. You get a good look at these no. guys? No. Sure. The problem's been up all look. night, guys. Yeah. We've we been really marathon for marathoning this. His cap said, uh, <laughs> USS I should have been listening to what this guy was saying. The other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Oh, Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. Really? You didn't get that? You didn't get that at all? She was murdered, Benny. Brutally murdered. If you like this lady, you should give us something. See, that's what I thought, too. You're telling me I'm not cooperating? Watch it, pal. I'm not gonna slug you one. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We're gonna Thank find out in the next episode of hey, We're no Really problem. Scared the Show. Uh, this is Bates. 
Oh, don't run away, dude. That's him. LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shit. Come bird. on, dude. Stop. You can't let the son of a bitch get away. You're the worst, man. Rusty, just be nice to him. Next episode, maybe Yo, Rusty will be nice to him. It. Continue. Game.